On this week's edition of Inside Georgia State Basketball, we talk to senior Jordan Tyson. All right, you guys are now about halfway through summer practice, kind of on the back end with a few weeks to go. Talk about what these first five weeks have been like for you, um, obviously heading into now your senior year, and what you hope to accomplish over these last three weeks. Right, well, the first five weeks have just been really intense, just getting back in the groove of things, kind of letting go of um, enjoying what we did last year, but letting go and moving on, uh, getting stronger in the weight room, as always, um, and just trying to get better, trying to get closer and closer, trying to accomplish what we did last year and more. So that's just been the main focus for me and everybody when we're working out and doing anything. And that kind of almost leads into my next question is, is one of the things we've asked basically everybody this summer um, is, is what did winning the championship going to the NCAA tournament mean to you last year and how does that motivate you for this coming season? Yeah, winning the championship last year was one of the greatest experiences of my life. Like. Um, I won a regular season championship at St. Bonaventure, so it is a championship, but this was some, it, it meant so much more because you knew where you were going after this. And then just to know that you were the best team in the conference in a very competitive, um, very competitive league felt really good. And I think, I think just winning a championship like with your brothers is just like fun and exciting regardless, you know? Talk a little bit about what, it, what led you to Georgia State. You mentioned St. Bonaventure and you had a couple years there, but kind of talk, you know, from high school up in Ohio to, to now here. A lot of fans may not know, you know, what, what the travel has entailed. Yeah, well, high school, I wasn't, um, I actually only had a Division II NAIA offer. That was like the only, that was the school I was gonna go to. It was like Rio, Rio Rio Grande or something like that in Ohio. Um, and then I went to a military school where they had a basketball team, um, Fishburn Military Academy. Um, we, we did really well and I got my offer from St. Bonaventure, some other Division I schools. Go to St. Bonaventure, have a good two years, but then I decided I wanted to um, try to expand my game as much as I can and wanted to go to a program that I thought I could really, I could really be the best two-way player I can be. Like, get, like do, do what I do normally defensively, but also, you know, be more effective on the offensive end too. And um, when I decided to transfer, uh, Coach Charmin White, uh, contacted me. I had no idea who he was, but everyone in Georgia knows who he is. So I'm just like, oh, Charmin, hey. <laughs> but he, um, I was actually, he had just gotten on to Georgia State, and I was his first, like, real recruit and the first one to commit. Um, when I came on campus, though, and he took me on a visit, me and my mom were just like, wow, you know, the downtown area. Uh, I was a strate uh, strategic communications major back at St. Bonaventure. So I figured this could really help me like in journalism and the media and stuff like that. Um, and also just a great program. Like I'm, I'm very, very familiar with the program. Talk about having to sit out for a year. Obviously we did some stuff for the website. Um, and then even kind of the earlier part of last year where you were kind of, you know, I think you may admit to this, you were still getting your legs underneath you back in game form. But as the year progressed, your game progressed. To where you know you finished the season strong and obviously are hoping to take that into this coming season definitely um j just last year was a rough transition um not rough it was enjoyable but it was rough like you said getting my legs under me and just getting acclimated to the system um especially defensively um it's a defense i've never played in before but uh but now i have i have a great feel for it and i'm excited to expand my role even more but uh the biggest thing last year that helped me get over that hump was just really doing extra work with um, the coaches, specifically Coach Ray, working on different things, uh, working with Coach White, and just persevering, like just realizing it's more than just how I'm doing. Like I was just focused on what we needed to do. From a, we'll talk team in a second. From an individual perspective, what are your goals for this coming season? Well, I want to. I mean, I want to go to the Final Four at least, um, and then individually, I want to double my uh, statistics and double um, my performance from what I did last year. Um, and I just want us to have fun. Like, I just really want to grow, like, as a person, like, working with my teammates, uh, you know, just being a real brotherhood. That's why I'm more excited about anything. Talk about that chemistry with this team. Obviously, it was something that, you know, as, as the year got to the end last year, you know, rough couple last two weeks of the season didn't made necessarily go. But everybody kind of felt that that chemistry, once we made it down to New Orleans, was going to come out. How do you feel like that chemistry is going to play into this whole season where, you know, from day one, everybody knows what their end goal is? Right. Uh, I think the chemistry is even, 
I think it's even going to take a step forward from what it from what it was last year because everyone in this program, uh, from the coaches, Coach Hunter, to all the assistant coaches, even our new coach, Coach Travis, uh, Coach Ray, CP, um, and just all my teammates, we all genuinely love and care for each other. And we just love and care about the game of basketball. So I think that's what makes the chemistry so great. And then we get along so well. Like we, we don't have any we don't we don't have any um, players on the team or people in general that think they're above anybody else. So I think that's what makes us I think that's what makes this a special program is that our coach is very humble in that way and so it carries over to the rest of the program. Well before we let you go, um, obviously now we're about three weeks away from making the trip to Spain. Um, you've been on one of these international trips before, a little different. We didn't play games down in the Dominican Republic, but but tell our fans kind of what you're looking forward to um, from a student athlete perspective, but also, you know, getting a chance to play against some competition that's not, you know, wearing your same jersey. Yeah, I mean, I'm just getting excited just thinking about it. Like, the biggest thing I'm excited about is hopefully I can play in a country like Spain next year when I'm done with college basketball. So uh, just playing against that type of competition. I mean, I'm not sure exactly where we're going to play, but just any overseas competition is great. Uh, when I was at St. Bonaventure, I played in China and Croatia. And the competition was great there, too. And I ended up doing a lot better than what I expected. So I'm just hoping for the same thing and for everybody to get better and look forward to it. Well, Jordan, we greatly appreciate your time on this week's edition of Inside Georgia State Basketball. Uh, good luck as the summer finishes up. Good luck in Spain and good luck as the season gets underway. Thank you.